Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. So here's another video for my Halloween thought. Because it's the month of October, so I'll be doing nothing but horror related content here, folks. Well, it's Halloween, so it's my favorite time of the year anyway, so here we are. Anywho, moreover, I'm going to be reviewing the sequel to a movie I've already covered, because why not, I guess. If I review them all, I might as well talk about them. I've already talked about the remakes anyway, so here we go. Yes, it's the Spanish found footage type of a movie, of course. And yes, I've I've watched this in, a, in its original language, the way it was intended. And I prefer it that way anyway, so it can grasp the full effect on what the movie is trying to do. And I guess that's more of a me thing, because if something's intended to be a certain way, leave it alone. Don't alternate, don't tweak, tweak it, or whatever. Just, and no. Okay, again, that's more of a me thing, but whatever, I guess. Anywho, so I just thought I might as well cover this one. They made four movies in the original continuity. So I just thought I'd just cover them. But like halfway through already. What do you know? Anyway, of course, as always, let's talk about the plot. Of course. So yes, of course, as you can guess, yes, this gets pretty crazy. Several actors from the first century do reprise their roles, mostly brief appearance as affected versions of their previous characters. So anyway, yeah, there's this doctor, there's, there's supposed to be this unofficial individual of the, of this health place kind of thing. And there's also this heavily armed CEO, team of four individuals equipped with some of these video camera and body cams and whatnot are sent to this quarantine apartment uh, building of course to send out what to see what happened to its uh, inhabitants who have been let's say they, they're infected and they're violent of course because it's virus or whatever and yes as you can guess like I said before it's done in a found footage style kind of a thing and these, uh, they were sent to this attic, uh, and which, yes, that's pretty much where the first film had pretty much done its thing. So it's, it's trying to continue really where it left off, I guess, in some extent. I'm found occupied. They returned to the lower level and to investigate some further because of, there was this disturbance and whatnot, or attack by this infected individuals as residents and whatnot so of course things just get weirder and weirder as it goes you might expect of course things would just continue to get pretty bizarre there's an affected individual and there's some kind of a thing with religious stuff of course that happens in there which is it's kind of stupid in some ways because if you if you really believe that your god exists why would he allow this to happen i mean i know they're just doing this for the just for the movie's sake i guess because when it comes to dangerous situations, of course, people will go to the very thing that will bring them comfort. So, I guess in that regard, I kind of get that to some extent, I guess, but whatever, I guess. Anyway, that's pretty much the just of the story. Of course, with this military type thing, of course, because this entire thing is just, it's just, it goes astray. There's people with oh, this, with guns, they're armed and all whatnot. Yeah, like it's, it's pretty insane, I guess. Again, that's pretty much the suggest of the story. I mean, there's more to it, yeah, but that seems to be the general consensus of it. Yes, of course, this is again a pretty straightforward storyline, and I guess I guess it's trying to be effective in that sense. The overall story is yes, it's kind of simplistic in that nature, but again, like like in the previous entry, like I said before, folks, I've watched this in the, in its original language because most because of the fact that I kind of already understand it, so I didn't, I don't need no subtitles and all that. And, but yeah, that's just, like I was saying earlier, that's more of a me thing, really. So, for what it's worth, I thought it was fine. The story itself is pretty straightforward, and whatnot. And that's, I guess, in some ways, uh, they had to do it, I guess, in, in that way. Following the, following the success of the first movie, I guess the people who were behind the production, this one signed on when it comes to the race choreographed and whatnot. I mean, okay, I don't see why he had to have a sequel, but whatever, I guess. I guess it, it went to have a general release in Spain the fourth week of October, going at number one in the Spanish box office. And yes, it actually made a crap ton of money. And pretty much achieving the best opening weekend of that year for a Spanish movie. 
So there you go, I guess. The film did premiere on the 66th International Film Festival, uh, out of competition, I guess you would say. So yeah, so it was also shown in a few other places as well. The movie was shown in three additional places, to be more exact. So there you go, I guess. So okay, I don't see why not. I'm guess trying to make sure that the movie gets as much attention as I could. And then again, again, the film was also released in in New Zealand uh, theaters as well of the 13th of November of 2009. So there you go. It had quite a few different places that it was shown. And the movie was, uh, the movie opened and it was received generally positive reviews. So I guess, I guess that's something, folks. All right, let me just wrap it up here. So anyway. But yeah, I guess a lot of people liked it, obviously. Since the first one did so well, I guess they want to do another one. Even though it could have just been a standalone movie, they could have just live that the first part and leave it alone. But I guess when a movie is so well, does so well in the box office, it's, I guess that alone, it's enough for a sequel, I guess. Even though, personally, I don't think it adds to what was already there, but whatever, I guess. I mean, it did its job, I suppose. The movie's fine, I suppose. Like I said, it, it did what it was supposed to. It did what it was supposed to. So of course, it's effective enough, I guess, so I, I can't complain too much, I reckon. But anyway, I'll give this film an overall rating of a 6.8 out of 10. It gets a 6.8 out of 10 for me. So of course, as always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah, later.